And now we're with Andrew, the director of museums here at Crazy Horse Memorial. So give us a little bit of a timeline of the museums here at the memorial. Well, um, the museums have been here since uh, 1972, really, when our first building that we're in was built. Um, the collections themselves, we started gathering items very early on in the 1960s. Some of the first collections coming in 1965 of native artifacts from the Dakota peoples of northeastern South Dakota and then also from regions in Montana as well. So uh, the museum itself has been here since that time uh, and highlights a number of different cultures from across the country, various native nations of the United States and North America. So while we don't follow a traditional timeline in the history of museums, it's more about the, the active cultures, the, the living cultures, the living heritages of the people that are here and have been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. Yeah, and the story that is told it has expanded over time to uh, in the 80s and then again in the early 2000s uh, to be the modern facility that we have today. One of the things that we're striving for is to include more of the tribal stories, to research the stories of where so many of these items have come from, but then also to find more inclusion of the voices, authentic voices of the people uh, where these things come from. So we've started the research, the travel, the outreach to connect with peoples from the Pueblo region to the Northeast, all throughout North America, so that the authentic stories and the voices of the people and these, uh, where these things come from are prevalent right at the very start and are a part of telling that story. We also host throughout the year temporary small-scale installations, and so those also are things that run through the museum. But really in terms of the museum where things come to life is the cultural programs. And so getting up close with the artists, with the presentations, that's where people can see that the stories of the museum come to life and preserve history today. Korchak himself used to say that the mountain is the smallest part of what we're doing here. It's the humanitarian efforts of the museum and the university that really make the difference. And so the museum itself was always meant to be that statement of showing where culture is alive and well. And um, while the draw of the wow factor of the mountain really would draw people in, uh, the museum is where they can learn, they can immerse with culture, and they can become a part of that story. So that's why that is such a major component of a visitation here. All right, thank you so much, Andrew. Thank you for visiting. Thanks so much.